Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very natural look for you. I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to kind of show you guys something opposite side of what I usually do, cut creases and all that good stuff. I'm not wearing any liner, so it's just, it's very natural. I, want, I wanted to go more for like a face glow. And I wanted to do something that you know everybody can do every day to go to work or whatever it may be. I have a couple of things to do today, so I figured why not film it. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. So I'm extra zoomed in today so you guys can really see what I'm doing. I guess that I'm going to do a very, very natural look, something you can literally wear every day to work. So I'm going to start with, I already have my lids primed, so I'm going to start with my transition shade. And I'm just going to do like a really warm brown. Now this look isn't going to be dramatic at all. I'm not going to do liner. I'm not going to cut my crease. None of that crazy stuff. Really just wanted to do something that, you know, anybody can do on an everyday basis. And I'm just going to take a blending brush. Just kind of blend that out. I'm going to use this shade here. And I'm going to take just the tiniest bit because I don't want it to be super dark. And then this is supposed to be more on the natural side. But this is a good way, like, if you do this during the day and then you have somewhere to go at night, you can always take a darker shadow and just kind of smoke that in. Turn it from day to night. Now I'm going to take this pigment that I got pretty sure years ago. And I don't even know who it's by. It's just a very light pink pigment. I'm gonna just load my brush with some pigment and then spray it. And I'm just gonna put that all over the lid. You can actually even use your finger to put this on. If you really wanted to. And then I'm gonna take that same brush that I took to apply my crease and I'm just gonna kind of marry it together so there's no harsh lines. Same brush. I love strobe cream because I'm really dry, so it adds like a really nice radiance to my skin. It's like a lit from within. to take my Holy Grail Foundation Max Studio Fix. This Too Faced Magic Wand Foundation. Just because I've been extra dry lately and this one's a little bit more hydrating. And I'm a little more tan, so that adds a little bit of color. Shape Tape Concealer as my concealer and to highlight. I won't be baking today because the funniest story. So I had a photo shoot, if you guys know, and I had taken all my makeup up to upstairs in my where I lived because we had it upstairs. So I took all my makeup because I did some makeup on models. And so did one of my best friends. So at the end of everything, we put our stuff away and I was missing my baking powder, my RCMA powder. And then I noticed till the next day, actually on my last video where I was a hot mess, um, I noticed when I was filming that that it was gone. So I texted my friend Claudia because I was like, well, she must have it because we used the same powder and she probably thought it was hers and she took it. So I hit her up and I'm like, hey babe, did you take my, my baking powder? She's like, no, I just have mine. So then I told my husband and my husband was like, no, she does have it. Because her little sister was here and he's like, and I specifically heard her say, Claudia, here's your powder, don't forget it. And it must have been mine. So I asked her again. She said, no, it's not, I don't have it. So then the other day she posts a story, Instagram story, 
and she said that she found her RCMA powder in her kitchen cabinet. So I write her, I'm like, are you sure that's not my baking powder? And she was like, no, I'm sure. I was like, okay. A couple of hours later, I get a Snapchat and she was like, when you realize that this is, was your powder because I had mine all along. So basically she had my powder the whole time. She didn't even look and she still has it. So no baking today. I'm just gonna set my under eye with powder. Otherwise I will crease. So I'm gonna go back in underneath my eye with that same Morphe palette. And I'm gonna go and do the same thing under my eyes that I did at the top of my eyes, just with a smaller brush. So I'm gonna go in with that first kind of brownish shade. And I'm just gonna take that on the bottom of my eyes. And then a tiny bit of that second shadow. I don't want it to be super, super smoked out because again, this is going to be more natural. Okay, my Anastasia Contour Kit. And I'm going to use the shade Chocolate, which is that darkest shade. So like I said, I'm not doing a super, super heavy contour. Gotta make sure that that's fully blended because like I said that last time, <sighs> embarrassing. So for this highlight, I am gonna use my Cover FX drops because they are amazing. So, I'm wondering, okay, I'm gonna drip it. Oh, gotta find my hair. Okay. Oops. Don't know that this brush is working very, very well for this. For this. It's also, oh my gosh, I just keep getting everything in my hair. is such an intense glow. Let's try an angle brush because I kind of want to be more highlighted than that. Oh, okay. Hi. Yeah, looks way better. Okay, well, note to self, fluffy brush works better. I forgot to do so before. So I'm gonna go back to my eyes and I'm going to mascara. I kind of stop there if you really want it to be supernatural. You don't have to put falsies on. I'm going to afterwards, but you don't have to. Up here if you wanted to. I'm actually gonna add even more highlighter and I'm gonna put false lashes on and a lipstick. So I'm gonna spray my now when you're wearing this mascara, I would suggest maybe to wait till it dries before you spray your face, just because I have found that if I spray my face right right after I do my mascara, then sometimes I will get like little mascara things underneath my eyes. So you just want to be careful. And I'm going to go in with my Mary Luminizer because this is the highlighter you want to use if you're really trying to blind someone. I'm 
going to find some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am going to wear Jenny from the block today. because I'm not wearing eyeliner and I'm using black glue. I didn't learn the last time. Okay, so Jenny from the block are gonna be more natural. They're, I mean, they're longer, but they're not super, super thick like Queen J or Fancy Nancy, all of those. So, something you can wear every day? Sure. If you think this is even too more like too dramatic for you, then I would say go with Virgo. I mean Virgo. Yeah, Virgo or Vanity. Those two, Virgo is gonna be a little bit more like Jenny from the Block, a little bit less length, and Vanity is gonna be more natural towards the inner corner, more dramatic towards the outer, but still very natural, still wearable for every day. But see, if you see the difference. It's not. I mean, this makes it clearly like more, way more dramatic, but you can totally do without the lashes and just wear it like that. It's still really pretty. I did it again. It's fine. Literally, you guys, I'm not joking, not joking. I've taken my lipstick off twice now, so third time's a charm. So I'm gonna use Plum from MAC and the NYX Lingerie uh, Liquid Lip. So. Let's hope that this works out better. So I do like this. I'm gonna put a little bit of bit of bubbly over the top. Okay, so that is going to be it. 